thought I was going to die. It was so 95. 95. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chamaka Chamaka Kali. Thank you so much for the love that we showed in my last video. If you have not seen it, it's part one of this vlog. Please go check it out. I'm going to link it in the description box. So this is the third day in Ghana. We are currently at ABC Mall. I believe that's what it's called. Unfortunately, I didn't shoot a lot because I was a people that will not be comfortable with being on YouTube. So I had to respect your privacy. So my auntie's birthday, so we came to do makeup and photo shoot, which I did not record because same reason. So this is the the salon that did the job they did an amazing job by the way but i did not record we were hungry so we wanted to try something we saw this mini pancake thing which we tried it was nice but we also we still needed to get food um like i said i'm not really comfortable with showing the camera people's faces that's why you can just see the lower part of these people here So this is what the mini pancake looks like and this is the process of the making. It came out really nice, it tasted really nice, not gonna lie. We went out to scavenge for proper food and we found a place called Coffee Lounge which serves Chinese delicacy and we got Chinese fried rice. It was nice really. It was a lot. It was a lot. Oh my god. This is a main event moment. A lot of things were going on that I didn't record privacy reason. But this was later in the night, the bed, the venue, this was me, this was my look for the party, the footage party of my auntie. And this was what the venue looked like. It was kind of cute. It was okay. It was an amazing time, by the way, an amazing time. A montage will follow up. The party was cool, shot, but any we can do like a little spotty. Oh 
this is the next day and we were on our way to the Medina market to get some stuff before leaving Ghana. I was so so scared of recording here but I heard Ghana is relatively safe or like Lagos so I kind of recorded a bit. The market is big. It was big. Yep. The main reason why we came here was to get the famous kente material so we were asking around you know asking people where we could locate it and we found this really friendly woman that showed us where we could find it we located a store look at these beautiful handmade slippers anyway this woman sells i can do material for 95 cds 95 95 we didn't get from this particular store but take a look at the beautiful prints that they have so this is another store we checked out for comparison and we got our kente material here for a cheaper price <laughs> Look at this wispies guys. I've heard that Ghanaians have the most beautiful types of wispies and I'm seeing for myself. Although I didn't get any one because I do wear wispies at the moment. But they're all beautiful and the rest of it is a montage of what the marketplace looks like. <laughs> We stopped to get some cherry mangoes. Our Uber was taking its time, so I decided to try Ghana Jello fries. Here, I told her to show me what it looks like, and then I decided to get some. The rice did not taste bad, but honestly, I see no reason for competition at all. All I was telling my Uber driver this, and he was like, Maybe I ate from the wrong place. But we know that street food is the best, but I actually did eat from the wrong place because, guys, I got food poisoned. I was sick to my stomach. My stomach was running, you guys. So when I went back to the guest house, I decided to eat and I ate Nigerian jello fries. When I tell you these two types of jello fries were fighting in my stomach they were fighting a wall in my stomach i was so sick jesus christ i was so sick i was so shocked i was sick for over a week like even after i left ghana i was still sick hi guys it's currently 2 40 a.m in ghana i just want to put it out there that Ghana jello fries almost killed me like you have felt sick yesterday. I have literally just recovered, like I just been sweated. I thought I was gonna die, it was so bad. I was literally gonna go out. I was supposed to go out last night to chill. I couldn't, like, I was oh god, it's cancelled never again so we were finally leaving and this was the guest house we stayed in it was a very good place very good customer service and it was cheap i forgot to do a room tour but this is what it looks like scattered shop so we we're finally at the airport guys i've never been more happy to go back to nigeria i was so sick and weak i don't wanna go I have no idea why this refused to scan. After going through all the procedures, we proceeded to board our flight, which 
did not take off until 6 30 pm anyway overall ghana is a good place but the food thing just ruined everything for me anyway look at this beautiful view guys oh we finally finally arrived in nigeria it the flight felt so long for me because i was sick i just couldn't wait to land and go home and sleep the work to the car park was so long i almost fainted anyway our ride came to pick us up and we were headed back home We stopped over at Buka Hot on our way home to get some suya. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for all the love in my last video. Oh my god, it was amazing. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Have you been to Ghana? Let's interact in the comment section. Do you intend to go to Ghana? Have you had Ghana Jollof fries? What was your experience like? Let's communicate in the comment section. Alright guys, bye. See you next time.